Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. Bang, 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 bang. What's happening? I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> it, it, you know what I mean? Like, old habits die hard. It's crazy. Sure. Like, yeah. People just be doing this shit for no reason. Like, What why? was it like when you had a gun? What was that like? I got guns now. Oh, but do you do that with it? No. <laughs> for. Now what? you keep them really locked up, nice and secure. Yeah. You don't play with it. You only go get it if you're going to, like, train at the range. Do you train you know, at the range? Clean it. Yeah. You take your girls, too? No, not my girls yet, but... But you will? Absolutely. I don't know why. I'd like I don't. my but daughter to know how to a gun. Yeah, you can start training at eight. So That's fire. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know why. And then now that you have one, it's like you hope not to use it. Yeah. You know? Where back in the day you're saying you were hoping to get the opportunity to use it? Not really. I just like to have it. So when I do this, yeah. people think you're really about that life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Be like Doughboy. Be like Ice Cube and Boys in the Hood when he just lifted up his shirt. We got a problem, cuz? Like it. Just to let you know, they can let him see the handle. You know what I mean? What would your pose be like when you were when you were Always sticking like out? this. You went sideways, That's huh? how you know. Whenever you see somebody doing this, they don't know how to shoot. They don't know how to shoot. You know what I'm saying? It should really be like... You know, hold it steady. Like that. You got to hold your I mean, wrist, right? Why'd, yeah. you, why'd you go on top? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know why people do the stupid shit they do. Alex, why do we do the stupid shit that we did as children? Okay? Because we were high like Taylor is now. Hezzy, how you been? I'm, I'm actually really good. I mean, it's great to be here. It's The funny thing is that you and I showed up for work today on time. On time. That's crazy. Oh, I was here on time. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was here on time. Maybe we were early. Maybe we're so on time we're early, yeah, Sean. Yeah, we were early. We got a text five minutes late already from Taylor, and it just said, yo, I'll be there in 10 minutes. And then that's it. Then she this came, girl. Then she came in 20 minutes after the text. High as fuck. High as shit. Done smoke weed, ate edibles. This woman's history month. J Lo earrings. Women's history month getting her head, yo. (laughs) Women's history month getting her head. Yo, it does. Women's history month getting her head. It does do that. They think they can do whatever the fuck they want. You have Black History Month now. Women's History Month. You're too cocky. You're too cocky. You need to come down to earth. First of all. All the times I had to wait for y'all. It's never happened. Yeah, we've never been late. Oh, it's never wow. happened. We can't be late because the podcast crazy. starts when we're that's here. That's crazy. How can we never be late? Happened. That's never happened. The podcast can't that's start right. until that's we're right. here, so that's, that's right. when the right, birthday. You're right, but we have a that's time right. set, too, Yo, we've though. been more reliable than your parent. Yo. <laughs> wow. First of all, don't ever. Right. Yo. Don't ever. Right. Don't ever. We've been What's more going on with her period, Huh? What's going on with her period, though? We've been more reliable. I've never been pregnant, so don't try it. Don't try it. Wait, is you, there a period? You think I'm gonna be over here? I told talk you I want a spiritual. You journey. think I don't be over here and y'all talk at work? What Wait, what's happening about? with what your period? About? I heard you think I ain't hear that little conversation. What are we talking about? Yeah, I heard a conversation. Oh, oh, I heard a conversation about somebody's calendar being a little off. You Wait know a mean? minute. Yeah. Not mine. All right. It's nice. Okay. What are you talking about? All right, fine. I'm listen. I'm not in your business. I'm not in your business. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. How you been? How you, did I ask you how you were, Hezzy? You did. Okay. okay. I've been good. Okay. I've been on schedule. Charlamagne so want a period so bad. No, I don't. Yes, you too. No, I don't. I'm a stud. <laughs> 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 Salute to all the studs out there, yo. We don't recognize y'all enough, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all toxic shit. You do look shit. like a stud. I'm a stud, I ain't gonna lie. I'm you a got stud. big stud energy. I look like a scorn stud. You do look like a scorn <laughs> you know stud. Strapping I'm on. Scorn, that's right. Yeah. I'm mad as fuck. I'm make nobody him, to use make this him strap on. Suck it, even though none of us getting pleasure. <laughs> the, girl, you know what I'm saying? the girl not getting pleasure. Why you not gonna... just don't suck their own strap, right? Though you know what I'm saying? Because think when you was little, you used to try to suck your own dick. Whoa. You know what I mean? What do you Whoa. mean when, when you was they little? Just remo- what do you mean when you was little? Oh, you still try to do it now? The older I got, the closer I got. Damn, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, yo. that makes sense. It's unfortunately, fun, unfortunately, yeah. it stopped growing, but. We was getting You there. was trying to you know go. I mean? Yeah, yeah, the taller you got, you was like, oh, I got it now. Ooh. I'm gonna get down there. Ooh. I'm gonna get down there. The fuck you think I do Pilates? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Y'all Listen. do Pilates for what? Core strength? <laughs> no. Listen, you know you of a certain age. If yeah. I, if after this conversation, I can I, you know what I'm thinking. Who am I thinking about right now when it comes to sucking your own dick? Oh, of course, Matt Broussard. Do tell. Comedian Matt Broussard from Guy Code, the dude who said he could do it. No, I don't remember that. He was on the Guy Code episode with all of us. And he's really? Like, yeah, remember? Oh, I know they bleeped. I know that episode just got oh. erased from that. No, I was, it's I was, out. I remember that. No, I'm saying they probably erased it. And we were they, like, what was it like? And he's like, uh, it's a lot It's a lot more like sucking a dick than getting your dick sucked. Sucked this up to a completion? 
<laughs> Say what? You stuck to some to completion? I actually didn't ask that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, why? Where, where I think was thinking about somebody movie? else. Oh, no. Who could suck damn dick? Marilyn Manson. Remember he got his ribs removed? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He got his ribs removed to suck his own cock? I don't know if I believe that. Fuck? I don't know if I believe. Also, taking the easy way out. You think that's the easy way? <laughs> Getting surgery to suck your own dick is the easy way out. Yo. Or a commitment. I mean, or yeah, a commitment. it's a commitment. Or but a it's commitment. Like, I respect commitment, yo. If you get fake titties, are you committed? Y yes, you're committed to wanting big titties. No, I guess. I'm not mad at it. Yeah, Shout out to all the studs, though. We appreciate you, man. You know what I mean? We was How having did the studs come on your radar? Yeah. What happened with the studs? No, I've just been noticing them for a while, but I've been noticing people not noticing them the way that they And why aren't they noticing the studs? I don't know. I think because, um, you know, when you have, like, male energy in that space, Base. I don't know if it's just respected. Because yeah, even not. the studs love the films. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. studs even love the films. No, the, they studs, got good taste. the studs fit in with us. They got that's the homies. You know, they the homies. That's the homies. You know? So I think that's I think it's kind of like that in a way. Like, so nobody really like looks at them and think that they have empathy. Yeah. Nobody feels has nobody really has sympathy for them because they give off like the manly energy. Like it's kind of like us as men. Yeah. Like, people are just starting to care about our feelings just a little bit. Yo, question. If you're a stud, and we need studs to answer this, do you always take the strap with you? Because as a dude, like, we're, you're strapped all the, time, all the time. But meaning, like, you're ready to go. If you're single, you're ready to go. Exactly. You know what shoot. I'm saying? We're shooters out studs here. Studs pull up like this. So the studs, <laughs> let's say you're kicking like game. This. Like, you need to have it on you. What yes. if you kick game with a girl at the gym? You need to have it on. You got to have that thing. And do girls care about how big a stud strap on is? I mean, you got to have multiple. You, you got to be able to look at a girl. Shit, that ain't fair, yo. That ain't fair. Yeah, it's not fair. They probably, they, can, they probably can eat vagina better than us, and they got multiples, multiple strap on. Depending to on the up. girl. You know what I mean? All we got is what we got. What we got is what we got. God damn. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And do you wipe your strap on off for multiple women? Oh. You mean, do you clean your strap on yes. before having sex with other women? Yes. I mean, I would hope you would clean your strap. Yo, who got the Brilliant Studs podcast? I need to know more about studs. <laughs> Is there a studs you should know podcast? We need a studs you should <laughs> like know podcast. stuff pod, you should yo. know? Is there a studs you should know? Like, we, I want to hear that, yo. Because there's some really specific things about their yes, culture man. that we need to know. I want to learn do you more wear, about the culture. Do you wear the strap regularly? Do you just let that shit dangle? Yes. Number one. Number two. Do you tape down your titties or do you just let them hang? Yo. And if you don't tape them down, are you considered a stud for real? Here's the thing. And do you tape them down? Are they like something? Or do you just wear like a tight ass, uh, what's the shit called, Taylor, that y'all be wearing? White, wife beaters? Sports wife, bras. Sports bras. Yeah, you yeah. You wear a tight ass sports bra just to keep them concealed. Why are they embarrassed about their tits? Because they want to be y'all. But there are guys with us? tits. I don't think they want to be us, yo. No, nah, they. I think that they like us. They like the way that... I think they like, like the energy. way we move, they but like they don't the want to be us. But they like our energy. They like the way we yeah, move. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, like yeah. that masculinity. They like yeah. that testosterone. Yo, salute to the studs, man. Shout out studs. All the stud muffins out there. We appreciate stud. you, yo. Yo, real talk. We need a stud on the podcast just talking that shit, just breaking backs. Yes. Is there a stud day? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's gotta be, right? Like, it's we gotta, gotta I wanna celebrate the studs. I'm not even joking. Well, I wanna, we should, I wish we could have a stud on the pot. Yo, is Sam J a stud? I don't think Sam. Is yeah, no, no. Sam is a stud in terms of she got the strap for sure. National Stud Day was February 5th. <laughs> Holy shit. Really? <laughs> Yo, it would be fire if it was February 15th. Why? Just the day after Valentine's. Because studs be out here breaking hearts. That's, the, that's why I call yeah. them toxic studs, man. Wait, why? Studs because they be out here turning girls out because they eat it crazy. Then they got multiple strap-ons. And they be turning girls out and breaking hearts, man. I done seen, I done known plenty, plenty of women to get turned out by a stud. Taylor almost got turned out. Turned, Taylor yeah. almost got turned I out by a stud. It wasn't even a stud. You lucky. Almost get turned lucky out. it wasn't I, a stud. If it was a stud, you would have been flipped. Liar. I wasn't even close to almost. You, like, bought, no. you bought her a fitted hat. No. If you buy a set of fitted hat, you are in love. That's an engagement ring. No. Yes, That's a stud is. engagement yes, ring. Yes, it is. Yo. A new era Michelin Ness engagement ring. You bought her a fucking fitted cap. Tell the truth and shame the devil. If Taylor. anything, I was a stud because I just dipped on her. Like Yeah, because it wasn't a stud. But if it was stud energy and she ate your pussy crazy, you'd probably be a lesbian to this day. She <laughs> is. <laughs> she talks about that shit all the time. No, oh, my God. She is taking a sabbatical from dick. Are we going to the next topic? Sure. <laughs> By all and means next. necessary. <laughs> By any means necessary is Taylor's segment. What we got, Taylor Gang? Um, Cat Williams shows Everyone off. Everyone keeps talking about this and trying to beat 
his time, Michael Black. I'm not mad at it. There's no hating here. You can't hate on this. That is a 57 year old man who ran a four nine. He not a 40 yard dash. 47. No. Cat is 57. Cat no. is 50. How old is Cat? Let me look nah, it up. Nah, Cat got to be 47. Nah, Cat is 50, yo. There's no way. I'm, there's no way Cat is two years older than me. Hold on. He uh, is. How old is Cat? 52. I mean, that's yeah. incredible. 52 years old. Credit where credit is due. Short people don't, don't really age. <laughs> that's a fact. Like that. That's that is fact. true. Duval told me that. That's a but fact. But it is kind of true. Short people don't really get old. They don't get old. That is that is there's something to that. He ran a four, he ran a 4.97 in the 40 yard dash at 52 years old. And this isn't like him and his homeboys. This looked like he's with an actual football team. And they clocked him doing this. His form looks pretty decent. I wonder nah, how he moving. knew he was that fast. He was moving. He was moving. I'm not mad at it, man. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing to, there's nothing to, to, to be angry about here. He is what he he is who he claims to be. Yeah, shout out Cat. When it when it comes to that, did you watch? You know he's doing a live Netflix special. I think it's a genius idea, my boy. A live comedy special. I think it's a genius idea, he's especially doing- with Cat because he's convinced us that he's incredibly entertaining when he's just ripping, when he's just riffing off the cuff. Like he'll talk shit about anybody. This is the moment where you go. Oh, he's going to say whatever and nobody can silence him because it's live. I have to watch it. Yeah, and it made me think about, um, I wonder how soon after Club Shay Shay interview did Netflix come to him because Cat really hasn't said anything. Mm-hmm. He did he did, he did Shay Shay, then he did Rogan. I think Willie D's, yeah. but I think Willie D was before. You were saying that might be before. I think it was before Rogan. I could be wrong. Yeah. It was. Willie it was before Rogan, right? It was before I thought Shay Shay. Yeah. Willie yep. D was before Shay Shay. Mm-hmm. Willie D was before Shay Shay. So he did Shay Shay, he did Rogan, and he really hasn't done anything but go on tour. So it's like you give him a mic and you put him out on that stage live for Netflix, everybody's going to be tuned in. Live programming is the only way to go for most of these streaming services. You've seen what Netflix did with the uh, Jake Paul Tyson fight, right? Jake Paul Tyson fight. <sighs> How you feel about that? Okay. Shout out Jake. Jake finds a way. He this motherfucker finds a way. Literally two days before all these YouTube channels going, it's over, it's done. Jake is finally finished. Influencer Why? boxing finished because he had just fought this dude down in Puerto Rico who was a professional boxer, but wasn't that good. He knocked him out. People didn't really care. And they're yeah, like, yeah, okay, nobody it's watched done. it. But that wasn't I thought he was on the undercard of the woman fight. Yeah, uh, Amanda, he was. Amanda he was. what's her name? Serrano. Serrano. Yeah. Who was and also she got his hurt. fighter. And she, she she got like, I think some hair dye got in her eye. And so she had to pull out of the fight. True. Really? Anyway. Sure. So, uh, and he just finds a way. I mean, this fight's going to be massive. It's Dallas Cowboy Stadium. It's going to be the most attended fight. It's probably maybe. already sold out. Uh, did they even start releasing tickets? I don't even know. I'm definitely Netflix ordering bought it. it. You don't have to order it. Netflix bought it. Oh, yeah, Netflix bought it. Yeah, what That's what I was trying them. to get at. A live, you're talking, we're talking about live yeah, events. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be a live event on Netflix. This is a game changer also because it's not like there's a fee. I think Netflix could have also charged $20. And then people would have watched $60, $70, whatever the fuck ESPN charges. But I think they're just giving it away and they're getting sponsorship. This is going to be the most viewed fight. Dude, it might be the most viewed fight in history. Like, I, I, I haven't watched the fight in 15 years. I will watch You're this. You're watching this. Oh, wow. this. You and think about how easy it is. 15 years? <clears throat> Not that I'm aware Yo, of. No, but really check it. Check it. Fight. It's also on your phone. Like, it's so unbelievably easy to watch right. that even if you are out at the bar, you're putting it on your phone. You're watching with no audio. You're at a club. Wherever the fuck you are in the world, if you have Netflix, you're putting it on. I think it might be... And it's a Saturday. The most viewed boxing match in history. It I don't think that that's will. that crazy to say. You know what is more intriguing? And salute to Jake. Like, yeah, what you said, Jake. Jake finds a way to make these things historical. He what finds I find, a way, man. What I find more incredible as a man born in 1978 is the narrative that Mike Tyson has created for himself that still stands the test of time in 2024, even though I'm old enough to have seen Mike look mortal in the ring more than a few times. Mm -hmm. But he still has this air of invincibility, this air of he never lost a fight, this air of, oh my God, Mike Tyson is so scary in that ring. 
It is really interesting because any other fighter his age, we'd be like, there's no way. But because it's Mike Tyson. But why? And I love Mike. Because he was I mean so ferocious. He was so ferocious. I love Mike. So scary. He was until he wasn't. But that's everybody. No, there's some, like, there was this one fight I was watching the other day. I'm going to tell you, who was it? It was Mike Tyson versus Frank Bruno. Oh, yeah. Have you ever watched a Mike Tyson? Now, Tyson won both fights, but I think it was the first fight. Frank Bruno was giving Mike Tyson hell Frank Bruno until maybe, about the ninth round. Maybe the hardest puncher in boxing history, Frank Bruno. The British really? guy, right? Yes. Yeah, it was an unbelievably hard puncher. And so. he was he was he, he he buckled Mike in like the second the first the second round. Yeah, I mean he was an unbelievably hard puncher. Frank Bruno was a beast. I forgot what round it was. The Razor Ruddock fights were good fights. I don't know if that was Razor after. Ruddock. If you were taller than Mike and could box, you would give Mike problems. Most importantly, if you were willing to take a shot, because Mike is gonna touch yes. you. Yes, and that's what I'm saying. Like in this Frank Bruno fight. I forgot which one it was. It might have been the first one. I think it was the first one. I mean, I don't remember how the second one went. I was watching the first one again. Like, Frank, look at this. Frank Bruno's giving Mike hell. He's going to buckle him in a second. I mean, look at that shot. That's the thing. But Frank's eating him. He's a tough guy. Frank was really tough. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, 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 if, you, you, if you go back and you watch a lot of Mike Tyson fights, don't watch the highlights where he's knocking people out in 20, 30 seconds. He looked mortal in quite a few fights. It's not just the Buster Douglas fight. It wasn't just the Lennox Lewis fight. Right. He looked mortal in a lot of fights. But the fact that he's still able to keep that, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? That air. Air. Of in invincibility. invincibility. Yeah. Mm. Well, can I ask as a non boxing guy, like, how much does the actual technical skill set erode with time? As opposed, like... Oh, I don't think it does. So then Jake Paul's in trouble, right? No. I think I think people got to put some respect on Jake. I think, listen, if Tyson wins, people are going to go, well, of course he won. He's Mike Tyson. Right. If he loses, people are going to go, well, yeah, he's 58 years old. Of course he's supposed to lose, et cetera. So they, they're going to find a way to discredit Jake, but... I, Ty, Jake should win this fight. He's fighting a guy who's 58 years old. Doesn't matter how amazing he was. Like, you know, Father Time is undefeated. So, it, it, like, what are the stipulations? No stipulations. Like, what, what, what size gloves are they wearing? Are they going to wear headgear? No headgear. No headgear? No headgear. It's a real fight. It's a real fight? I don't know, man. I'm now, curious, I'm curious. Yeah. So if Tommy Fury were to go up against Mike, would you think he would easily beat Mike? <laughs> the only reason I say no is because Tommy hasn't really proven to have any punching power. But then he beat Jake. Yeah, but he kind of he, he, decision. He outboxed yeah. Jake. Yeah. Whereas with Tyson, if you don't have any punching power, he's just gonna walk you down. He's gonna keep throwing. Jake has knockout punching power. So if he touches you, you go down. The thing with Mike is that if Mike gets inside of Jake's range, he's gonna touch him. He's gonna cause problems. See, that was fight number two. Yeah. Yeah, if he, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. That's a 57-year-old man who's taking a lot of punches, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's been, he's been, he's been quite battle-tested. Like, we're not going to see this. No. You know what I'm saying? Also, we were talking about this on Flagrant. Like, how many fucking months do you need to actually get your body in shape? For us to get in shape and we're younger, it would be months. Well, Mike's year-round with it, though. Oh, he's training oh, all yeah, the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, Mike always posting videos of him training. Absolutely. Okay. That's why I said when you talk about, when you say, Chris, about, like, uh, how much of that do you lose, Mike, if, if you watch him in his boxing videos, he still got it. Like, a lot of that is muscle memory. Like, he stays on it. Yeah. Okay. You lose so much. I mean, I'm I'm here to tell you, you lose so much in your 50s. Chris, but, but you never had what Mike had. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> you know what I'm just saying? Like, 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 Mike can lose 40% yeah. of what he was. Chris, still, <laughs> when I was younger, <laughs> I, like, I, you know I could put saying? cream cheese on a bagel so much more efficiently. <laughs> <laughs> you lose so much more when you're 50, Chris. What did you have? This is, you know, I had something. I had something at one time. Now you can hoop a little. Mike. It's long gone, but I had it. Look now Mike. Mike Mike seems to believe that his uh, his basics, what are they called? His fundamentals are so strong that he will never lose that. I don't, I don't, I don't doubt that. Yeah. Now here's the reality: people would love to see. Like Jake has positioned himself as a villain in this game, and he's positioned himself as a villain, and he's taken on guys that he shouldn't beat, and then he's beating them, and now. 
the narrative is, oh, well, they're old or it's the wrong sport or whatever, but he's still the villain. Mike Tyson gets to be the face. Everybody loves Mike Tyson. Yeah. They want to see Mike take out Jake. Mike still think his shit, too. Come on, you <laughs> stud, like bro. You stud, like, bro. You a stud. You a stud. You a stud. This ain't Brawley. Yeah, I'm like Diesel, man. You a stud, bro. This ain't Brawley. You a stud. about like Diesel. <laughs> so then say that. <laughs> Why you gotta he's say? Not, I don't, he's not Diesel. He's in shape. I'll just say he's in shape. You know what I'm saying? He's in shape and he's still got girth. <laughs> no, not girl. Like he's still like um. Brolic. This ain't brolic. It ain't brolic though. What is it? What it's like mean? old man brolic. Like oh, no, I don't want to fight that. That's scary. That's the thing. <laughs> That's crazy. Like he still got it. <laughs> like but here's yo. Here's the thing, man. You saying he still got it? But listen, Mike lost a lot of fights. He lost like five or six fights. Like he, yeah, like, to professional fighters like that actually box their entire lives. But Jake is that now. That's the I thing. mean, it's like he's what eight fights in, seven tomato cans. How uh, many years has he been? I don't know? know, man. It's still a fifty-seven year old man. I, I hit my thing. I don't want I, if he beats Mike Tyson. I don't want this to seem like a thing. Like, like oh, I beat Mike Tyson. Like I saw Jake. So I'm putting Iron Mike to sleep. We've seen that before, Jake. Oh, you're you're trying to say that what he. If he does win, it's not that impressive. Nah. Hey, not, not, not. Spar, now, if you spar against Mayweather, right, and you beat Mayweather, that's still, that's something. Because Mayweather never lost a fight. Hmm. You know, Mayweather's still pretty active in the ring. So even if you beat somebody like Mayweather, that matters. You, 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 you knock out 57-year-old Mike Tyson, it's just like, eh. And I don't think he's going to get knocked out. Well, now, now, let me ask you, does Jake have to knock him out? Yeah. He has to knock him out, right? No. I mean, he doesn't have to. He can win a decision, but it will be anticlimactic if he... I think it will almost get looked at as a victory for Tyson. Yes. If it's a decision. Yes. Because then people go, yo, he's 57 years old, and you, went, you couldn't even knock him out, or you couldn't even go to a decision, et cetera. Now, if he does knock out Mike Tyson, I think what happens is some other boxers step up, and they go, I'm going to knock out Jake Paul oh, for man. Mike. Well, so Jake then he double. gets another fucking payday. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's Rogan saying? What is he saying about this? Okay. Yeah. Listen, I'm not mad. God damn. Oh, you remember that? This fight. was crazy. When he fought to do a Down syndrome. Uh, what? What's the dude name? This, nobody ever talks about this show. They let what? this dude with Down syndrome fight Mike Tyson when Mike Tyson got out of prison. And it was so crazy. Yo. What was this guy's name, yo? That was like probably maybe the scariest Tyson ever. Pull it back, pull it back. Finally released him. The most terrifying looking Tyson ever. Now he looks. He was so in shape, man. And I'll never forget the way in or uh, the uh, stare down rather you could see it in tyson's face when he's staring him down there's this crazy pr he's following him everywhere he goes like a predator <laughs> dude like look you see peter mcneely's kind of looking down mcneely yeah but here's the thing <laughs> yes when he came out of prison he was in super shape he knocked out mcneely but then he got in the ring with evander holyfield and looked mortal as fuck. Let's, let's not take away anything from Evander. Evander is one of the Ooh. greatest boxers ever. He was in beyond, beyond ever. great shape. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Listen, I love Iron Mike Tyson. I'm just saying that it's very impressive that he's been able to keep this air of invincibility. We look at him still like you need a cold, you know, to get to him. And then, like, you got to see where his eye winks, like but in the video game. generation? <clears throat> Does a young kid, does, does Paul feel that way? He's not invincible. He's I just think an there's guy. a generation of kids right now who are going to watch him fight Jake Paul, and they're going to, if, if Jake beats him, they're going to talk like Jake just, you know, knocked out Thanos, and then they're going to go Google and realize, oh, shit, this dude's lost mad fights before. Hmm. And it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's just listen. I, I what do you think happens in the fight? Uh, I, I, honestly, I think it goes the distance. Really? I think it goes the distance. Really? And I think, you think um, Tyson can last the distance? Yes. I think it goes the distance. I mean, you know, it's not like a it's not I like I mean a, he went the distance with uh Roy Jones. Yeah. Yeah. But wasn't he, that he, six rounds? Six and rounds. And it was like a like exhibition. If this is a real fight and Mike fights the way he like when we watch him sparring and he's like attacking, yeah. Jake gonna catch him. Mm. Jake go Jake gonna catch him. It's, it's, it's inevitable. Like, Mike can't do that. Mike can't just rush in like that, fighting that 27-year-old kid. Like, Jake Paul, he has enough boxing ability to land one. Hmm. And if he lands one, I don't know if Mike can 
can take that at 57 years old. I could be wrong, though. I don't fucking know. Also, I don't know how much of that movement he's going to be doing inside. I, don't, I wonder if Jake is grabbing him or even Mike is grabbing yeah. him. Yeah. I think it might be like one or two punches at a time. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's got to be stipulations, yo. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Drea Michelle reveals pregnancy with 22-year-old NBA star Jalen Green. We are overjoyed. Got him. <laughs> Got him. 22 years old. Wow. How old is Drea? I heard that she's older than 39, but... Here's the stranger things. I, here's She's the stranger things. No, I, I'm not hating. <laughs> Why would she I like heard. that? Why would Drea lie about her age? Like, <laughs> yeah. What reason would Drea have to lie about her age? So she could get so, a 22-year-old pregnant? But here's the thing, right? It's plain. Everybody talks about, why would a 39-year-old want to be with a 22-year-old? How come we don't ever look at it from the other perspective? Oh, stop, stop. it. Why don't we? You with like older women too, right? International Women's Day takes. <laughs> Get out of here. Why don't we ever look at it from the perspective of the young man wanting an older woman? So Why would a young man it? want an older woman? Look at Drea. Look Drea at Drea. is beautiful. Are yeah, you crazy? Yeah, she's not all older women. You want a woman at the height or around her uh, peak fertility. That's the whole idea of attraction. Nah, not when you're 22. No, no. What I'm, I'm saying idea like. The attraction is fucking. For what reason? The fuck? Oh, when you're 22, so you you're telling not me trying that to have a 22 baby? shows everybody you had sex with you. All when right, you're let's pregnant? stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. <laughs> there is a biological evolutionary reason that we want to fuck. What do you think it is? A nut. Do you, what else do you think it is? Just a nut. You are you genuinely sitting here across from me, and you think. That there is no compulsion. At 22, I was 22, not thinking about exactly. getting nobody pregnant. Fuck show. 22. The, the, our behavior is dictated by millions of years of evolution. I ne to be honest with you, I've never as a man you're, said... You're both not that <laughs> fucking not retarded. Lying. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> you're both not that <laughs> fucking retarded. You're saying retarded. that you wanted to get a girl pregnant? No. Oh no, it's... it's you're, your you're brain, programmed. Your brain doesn't know the difference between getting a girl pregnant or not. Your 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 brain is just trying to spread its seed and it's trying to procreate. Oh, so you're saying whenever you get hard and shit like that, it's not just attraction. I want babies out there in the world. We're programmed to do one thing as a species, and that is procreate, make more of us. That's all we're supposed to do. Everything else, like, I want to go study science in college. But, no. But, but what attracts you? It's the reason your wife is pretty. Yes. Don't, <laughs> you know, and, you're and, not just out here attracted to any old thing. And what And what is that? We are attracted to women that are around their most fertile stage because we want to get them pregnant. The reason why we're not as attracted to a 60 or 7 year old woman as we are to like a 25 year old woman is because at 25 a woman is at the peak of her fertility and at 70 she can no longer have children. Okay. So our body shuts off its attractiveness to women around 70 years old. Now if you love your wife and you've been with her for years there's a different romantic connection that you've built you're rearing children and grandchildren of a family, of course. But some average 70 year old woman you're not attracted to, you are attracted to beautiful women at 25. Beautiful, key word. I think you're attracted to beautiful women at any age because you ain't never at any age looked at Roseanne Barr and said, I want to get her pregnant. You're right, but you would prefer 25 year old Roseanne Barr over 75 year old Roseanne I Barr. Would never prefer Roseanne Barr. I think 25 over 75. Never. I think so. You would never. I think you want them want twenty. To I think give you want Roseanne Barr the has he has. <laughs> I think twenty five. You want to break that down. Roseanne Barr. Roseanne Barr at twenty five. You got, you got to Google Roseanne at twenty five. Over seventy five. No, but where's it? What about when they're at peak uh, pregnancy age, but they're ugly and we're not attracted to them at all? That's my point. I just didn't want to say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Of course. I just tried to use somebody that I know I could say. <laughs> Of we're course, medically challenged, I, I guess. and nobody would try to cancel. Yeah, I of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Of course, we're, we're not into ugly people. Yeah, as much for sure. Challenged. Cosmetically challenged yeah. people for sure. Yeah. Andrea is thirty nine. She can still get pregnant. This woman looks like she's twenty five. That's twenty five year old. Which is. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you tell me you're not taking that down. No. You tell me you're not taking down on the left over on the right. Come on, yo. Look at that right there. Beetlejuice. Ah. Nah. Come God. on, bro. Damn, nah. Stop might, it. She might look Stop better it. than that. I'm stud, bro. Stop <laughs> it. Yeah. That was stud, bro. I don't know, bro. That's kind of crazy. Shout out to Roseanne, 25-year-old Roseanne. Yo, let us know it's right now. History yo, month. Let, let us know in the YouTube comments <laughs> or on Reddit if 25-year-old Roseanne Barr can get it. Y'all gonna have to Google this one, bro. Nah, you you gotta go, go to that, I don't know, man. Go to that black and white Andrews, one, Andrews, all I'm 
learned that from Andrew top right left. now. He was a T wild top boy. Left. Top left. There's 14 million people you in the You're not taking that down. Yo, there's 14 million people in this city, bro. You're not taking that down. I don't know how many women were in this city when you were 25, but God damn. All right, maybe not everybody could get it. That's what we're saying. No, it's not what you guys are saying. We're arguing different things. And looked like a Twitter egg at 25. What is the argument? <laughs> like, that is craziness. Like, what are you saying? Okay? The argument you guys are making is that... Big back bar! <laughs> Nobody's gonna get mad at that. <laughs> okay? Nobody's gonna get mad at me saying big back bar, are you? <laughs> no? <laughs> no? And if you do, just remember what she said about Michelle Obama. Yeah. What'd she <laughs> say? Yeah, you. <laughs> or Valerie Jarrett. Yeah, Valerie Jarrett. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Why you threw Michelle under the bus for no reason? Because they used to say yeah. they used to say stuff about Michelle too. Uh. But what'd you say? You said you would take it down. <laughs> nah, she would get it. Nah, man. You Come on, though. You think so for real? Nah. Anyway, point, nah. <laughs> point, point, point I'm trying to make is uh, Drea looks like she's 25. Dre is beautiful. She's stunning. Dre is beautiful. But once again, nobody talks about the other perspective. They're so busy calling out Dre and, you know, saying Dre is a predator. And First of all, you're not a predator if you're 39 years old and you met the person when they was 21. How's that predatory? If you were... Yeah, I, I, I think we have to treat adults as adults. Like, you're a 21-year-old yes. adult. Like Using words like predatory is crazy. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if she met him at 16 and she was going to AAU games... That's a little different. Yes, are babysitting them with some shit like that. Yeah, I hate this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she's babysitting. That's fucking baby insane. Babysitting is crazy. That's, that's red, that's red So we got to look red into shirt. We got to look into that. If she's babysat him in <laughs> his life, shirt. that's a problem. <laughs> that's crazy. That really that's is insane. a problem. That's now, insane. yeah. Now, listen, as a dude who's 20, how old is he? 22? 22. So when he's 40. Same age as his son. As his son. Say again? Same age as her son. Same that age as her son. That's what makes it strange? Yeah. That she has a son that's 22? No, it's just weird when... A little bit to it. Dudes date older women, it's weird. It's just weird. I thought, I've always thought that, you know? I've, I've said that for a long time, but it's just like, I'm not... I can't sit here and act like um, it's illegal. No. I can't I can't even sit here and act like it's morally wrong. I don't even like when we infantilize him. Like, he's a 21-year-old... I don't even know what year, that means. Say again? <laughs> when we treat him like a child. He's okay, a 21-year-old okay. adult in America. Um, yes. Like, he can make his own decisions, and if this ends up being a bad decision, he'll figure it out, but she's not grooming him. She's not taking advantage of At him. At all. Like, you're 21. At a certain point in time, we have to let people make their own fucking decisions. That's right, and I'm going to tell you something. If I was a 22-year-old millionaire man... Every woman I probably would, de would be dealing with would be older than me because these older women are amazing looking. Drea looks incredible. She's stunning. Yes, and, She's and, absolutely and really stunning. Is, and has always been that way. So the question is this. Let's say you're, you're Jalen Green. I think yeah. this, is, this is why this comes up, okay. right? Let's say you're Jalen Green. Let's say Drea's got, I don't know, five more years left of fertility, maybe. Mm -hmm. So she's got, she can put out maybe three kids with them tops and that's pushing it like they're going every single year that they have an opportunity there is a limitation if they just want to be together for the rest of their lives there's a limitation to how many children they can have because of that whereas some people that are jalen's age they might go hey listen i want to have six kids and i want to spread that out over the next you know 10 years and she just doesn't have that Dre might be cool with that though Dre might be like look i'm mama bear and then okay. you go knock up go these Go out hoes. there if you want to get your little... Uh, we can have some sister wives, you know what I'm saying? Go I do mean, your now thing. now we talking. I'm just so, saying. This now is we talking. She had to say um, a while back about, I guess, being in relationships. Like, so, like one. She was have one more kid. Okay. That's what she said. So, like, the person you're Girl. dating, you, you see, like, a future with them? I think the question you were asking me is if I wanted more kids, and I feel like I want more kids, and yeah. I feel like at this point in my life, right, yeah. the relationship is, is amazing to have, right, but that's not what I'm basing having a kid on, because right. I'm very non-traditional. Yeah. I feel like you can co-parent without being in a relationship. Maybe just two people say, hey... You want a kid? I want a kid. Let's just have a kid and like let's just really. See. So you would you yeah, would. I'm do very that? like free spirit. I'm very open and just. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know she, what I just watched. She, she wants to have kids. Nah, she been through it. <laughs> no. How many kids she got? Two, right? One. 
This will be our second one. This will be our second one. Man, salute to Drea. I don't see nothing wrong with it, man. I just think it's weird to call people like Drea predators, even when it was. I I, I agree. I think that's fucked that's up. That's a weird language. He's 21. Like, at, at what point? Or 22. At what point do we do we consider people adults? And what if, yes, and what if he's a young man who likes older women? Everybody always be like, oh, you older, you like younger women. It's just weird as I'm, a woman. I mean, yes, he has a bag, but like as a woman, it's just weird to even want to <coughs> shit with a younger guy. But you love who you love. It, I mean, unless her maturity level is the same as his, then okay. That, then. Now, see, that's what I'd be thinking. Yeah, about. I don't what know do what you talk about. What does a 40 year old woman <laughs> see in a 22 year old guy? I don't understand. Oh my God, can you imagine how annoying it is to watch the Jake Paul Mike Tyson fight with a 22 year old? And you got to explain who Mike Tyson <laughs> oh is. Oh my God. You got to put this, out the, old this, this the guy games. from the video game? Yes. <laughs> and she don't even know about the video game. She only knows because you used to wear the t shirts. Oh, no. I got mad Mike Tyson t shirts with the characters on oh, them and shit no. and hoodies and shit. Like, oh, she, no, no, oh, no. oh, he's fighting the dude from the hangover. You know oh, what I mean? No, no, Shit no, like no, that. Like, no, I don't no. got time for that. Like, that's what I hate. That I need, I need to, when I make certain references, I want you to understand them. Yeah, free Drea, man. I don't think people realize what she's actually <laughs> that's going what through I'm right saying. now. She got to speak two languages. That, that's what I'm saying. Everybody's always talking about, you know, <laughs> oh, it's just so messed up for an old woman to mess with, me with a younger no. guy. No. Yeah, do you know it's, what that older person got to go through? Dealing with that shit? Mind-boggling amount of annoyance. It don't even make any sense, man. They don't understand any of your vernacular, any of your slang words. They got all these new slang words that you don't fucking get. Yeah. And then I, 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 saw, I saw Donnell Rollins say some funny shit one time. Donnell Rollins was talking about being an older man dating a younger woman. I think he said this on his special. And he goes, I would date an older woman if we grew old together. <laughs> yeah. He was like, he said, I'm not going to be this age and go find an old new bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, that shit yeah. is funny. That's facts, and it kind of makes sense. That's what I'm saying. Man, I know an R&B singer right now. Salute to Keith Sweat, man. Keith Sweat said to me one time, Keith Sweat said, man, what I, why, why would I ever date a woman my age? <laughs> he not make too much money to date a woman my age. <laughs> That ain't my thing, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I was out here, y'all already know what I'd be trying to get if I was single. What? Pay the bill. First of all, don't be blowing up my spot. <laughs> all right. What'd you say? What'd he okay. say? I missed it. But old R&B singers, mm. that's where it's at. You would want old R&B singers? Older, absolutely. Stephanie Mills, Patti LaBelle. You know what I mean? For what? What is that? No, that's what I'm saying. That's what I would be dating. And what would you want to do? You would want to have sex with them? No, that's disgusting. Why would you say <laughs> okay. something like that? That's what I thought. You know, so you want to just have the conversation. Date, yeah, date. yeah, yeah. I'd be a dater. You are a fucking stud. I'd be a dater. You <laughs> lesbian. <laughs> I'd be a Does, dater. Doesn't she make pies too? Yeah. Yes, she does. Oh. Yo, you just love pie, yeah, man. That's really pie. what it comes really down to. Older women that older women that offer that pie. <laughs> 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 Old, oh, listen, I was in Austin, right? <laughs> Yo, listen, oh, Chris was there. I was in Austin, right? And I was on a panel for Vox uh, Vox Media. We yeah. did, uh, me and Angela Rye were guests on the, what's the name of the Today Explain podcast with okay. O.L. King. And so they did a Q&A at the end. And this guy stands up. I could not understand what the fuck he was saying until I could understand what he was saying. And he goes, Charlemagne, what is that? What is Taylor's mama's pie do for, do for your mental health? <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> he was like, well, what he is, was stuttering? What is Taylor's, and talking real low. Oh, struggling. no. What this, is, is, this is in the middle of like 20 very serious political questions. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yes. Palestine and Gaza, Gaza, Israel, the election. It was about politics. The whole conversation was about politics. <laughs> and he's like. So a guy with a speech impediment stops a very serious conversation yes. to ask maybe the greatest question in history. Of all time. <laughs> Yo, I got to explain to the audience. <laughs> salute. Who Taylor is. Were you there? Taylor's mama's uh -huh. pie. That's probably why he was stuttering. He thought it was going to be there. No. He just, just gets smacked up. I'm like, yo, <laughs> yes. Taylor, I'm like, Taylor Hayes is a producer that works with, <laughs> works with us on various shows. Her mama, you know, loves to give me her pie. Her mama <laughs> gives me her pie yeah. all the time. And it's so tasty and it's so warm. And somebody was like, yo, is she selling it? I said, not to me. <laughs> yo, <laughs> me. Yo. It is free for me. Yo, it's real. I'm a stud. Don't say nothing crazy to me. It's a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Let's pay some bills, Taylor. Wait, hold on. Yes, Before well, you guys go okay. to the um, ad, okay. I want y'all, what's y'all take on this? Did you see this? What's our take on what? Social media reacts to rapper 
RX Hector hyping his mom up as they celebrate her birthday. Popular Atlanta rapper RX H Hector was released from jail today after being sentenced to five years in prison for iPhone robbery and assault. What are we reacting to? What's going on, man? Be so funny. Oh my God, look at this. 12 o'clock. Um, with the oh. Chanel, don't play with her. What's Please the problem? Stop. What? <laughs> Oh, it was, um, God, beautiful mom. Whoa. Okay. 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 With all due respect, oh I don't blame him, but it's his mom. Oh, my God. It's hard for me to answer that question because my mom don't got that kind of ass. You know? Mine <laughs> neither. My, my mom's That's ass. That's what I'm saying. Flat, toast. That's what I'm saying. I, I never even thought about it. But <laughs> if that's walking around the house, I, it's yeah. hard to not want to do something to it if it's yeah, walking around saying. the house. Like, I yeah. Is that is, that's a good question. Somebody in the Twitter comment, that's a real comment. Is that his real mom or stepmom? Um, oh, if it's stepmom, then like it's lit. I, stepmom is. I would hope that's his stepmom more than his real mom. That's crazy. No. And the first comment under this post is Hollywood Unlocked. It says, my son is the exact way with me. It's really a boy mom thing. What the fuck? Somebody said, please stop. Nothing wrong. He's clearly playing. What? My daughter taps minds because it's they say it's wise. too big for my height. And my son does as well, always making something, what did that say? Weird. Weird. That's why everything, not just social media, like it's. This motherfucker got, got three New York Times right. bestselling books, can't read to save his fucking I can't life. See that shit. <laughs> oh, there you go, Taylor. I mean, I used to do it to my mama, so I don't want to create a double standard just because I'm a girl. Damn. What? Y'all all weird if y'all think it's okay. He didn't just tap her on the butt. He said she he said thick, jump. kept tapping her butt and she kept clapping her cheeks. We are not about to normalize this BS. Some of y'all love coddling boys and wonder why some of them can't function and want their woman to be their mama's. Kids yeah. be raising kids is what I see from the comments. I'm a boy mom too, and this is dumb. Hmm. <sighs> I, um, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I, I mean, I think it's strange, but I try to mind my business because I don't know what's strange in this world anymore because the things that I think are strange are perfectly normal to y'all, as, <laughs> as those first few comments say. But I also think that a lot of times those people are bots in those comments, and if you let the bots get about four or five off early, it can kind of switch the narrative because people don't really think for themselves anymore, so they'll go in the comments to see what a bunch of people think, mm -hmm. and then they'll be like, well, maybe I'm the weird one. Because mm. I think it's weird that he just clapped his mama's cheeks. Now, I could watch this video a few more times. <laughs> Not because of him touching his mama's butt. No, I can't because, that. yo, bro, bro. Yeah, I mean, she mama, got it. Yeah, yeah. But that's my she age. It, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how old she your mom is, it. but I was born in 1978. <laughs> I would assume she's around the same age. So, nah, you know, bro, she got it. I'm, I'm like, okay, salute to her. All right? Yeah. It would be an issue if it was her daughter? No. No. Nah, nothing There's never not at all. with women. Yeah. Not at all. Is he straight? Because that's the other thing. Women, y'all be letting gay oh, men do this. Oh. If See, he's you know. gay. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I mean, I don't know. I don't know the, I don't know the brother. He just came out of prison. <laughs> Everybody, come on, stop. <laughs> Everybody can stop. I don't know. I mean, listen, man. <laughs> the each is on. I ain't, you know, that's, that, that's their relationship. My whole thing is, does she have a problem with it? Clearly not. Clearly this is how they get down. You know, it is what it is. That's a good cake, too. What, what, what <laughs> restaurant is that? Uh, what's that? The I don't think it's the one. That's not the birthday up. from Milk? No. Uh, milk. Go, Taylor, there's one more thing. Oh, sh shout out to the South Carolina Gamecocks, Don Bobby. Staley. There's, a, a last year this time, I told y'all that women's basketball was better than men's college basketball. Last year this time when we were recording at uh, WTF Studios, okay. I was in here talking about how good women's basketball is. Now you got everybody with the hot take. I saw Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce saying how women's college basketball is better than men's college basketball, and they can't even name five men's college players. I told y'all this last year how good women's basketball was. That's actually was. a really interesting point. I, How many... Men's college basketball players, can y'all name right now? I can't name one. I don't even think I can name one. Uh, the only men's team I've been remotely paying attention to is the South Carolina Gamecocks because they're they finished the season number seventeen with the men's as well. Um, 
But women, you got, was it Kate, Caitlin Clark? Caitlin Clark, who's a beast, just broke the all-time scoring record for, for, for college, period. Yeah. Salute to Lamont Paris, man. Lamont, what you doing with the uh, South Carolina men's game? Cox is incredible. But you got Caitlin Clark. You got Angel Reese. You yep. got uh, Flaugene Johnson. You got Juju at USC. You know, you got... Um, uh, 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 Ashley, Wa Ashlyn Watkins for the game. It's a, it's, it's just a great sport. Look at this. They fighting and shit now. Yeah, I like they it. They dunking in the games. I like it. Everybody in women's college basketball plays like Tim Duncan and Steph Curry. That's fire. Hmm. Everybody. They yeah. dunk it? Huh? You said they're dunking? No, they play like Tim Duncan. Like oh, this, Tim Duncan. The, they're all <laughs> yeah. fundamentally sound right. players. Yeah. And now you got somebody like Kaylin putting it on the floor. What's the young lady name for uh, South Carolina? I think it is Ashlyn Watkins who played. She plays like Kyrie Irving, yo. Yeah. Like, it's just it's just the fun. Yeah, Ashlyn Watkins. Salute to Ashlyn Watkins. Yeah, the fighting is kind of cool. Girl fights are fun. But this is more of a stud fight. Stud fights are... Oh, my God. What? <laughs> they're not studly, though. Exactly. They're no, that's the thing. They, 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 like, they, like... There used to be a time. Women's basketball was more lesbianic. <laughs> yes. Lesbianic. And now more you feel studly. More studly. Now more you studly. think it's not. No. Nah, I think there's nah, still nah. I think there's still a fair amount of lesbians in girls' basketball. I'm sure. But yeah. studs though? Yes. Yeah, I think there's some studs. I think you could catch some strap from one of these girls. You don't think these girls are throwing around a strap? <laughs> you think so? Yeah. No, maybe it's Malaysia. Fu oh, yeah, Malaysia. Malaysia Fullaway. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing Whoa. your name wrong. Malaysia Fullwally. Look up her highlights. Can yo. she dunk? Nah, but her. she's like Kyrie out there with the she's ball like, handling. Malaysia or Malaysia? Let me see. Malaysia. Her. Yo, that, yo she can't even have a sneaker, bro. That's fucked up. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> can't, get, can't get the Air Malaysia. <laughs> 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 M I L A Y S I A for Wally. Play what the LSU coach said. Because people were kind of mad at this comment. What she said. Listen to it. Listen, no one wants to see to, to see that ugliness. But I can tell you this. I wish she would have pushed Angel Reese. Don't push a kid that you six eight. Don't push somebody that little. That, that was uncalled for, in my opinion. Let those two girls that were jawing, let them go at it. No one Now, see, here's the thing. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. She says she's pussy, yo. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Coach says she's pussy. Yo, girl that's basketball is saying. fire. That's yeah, what I'm gotta, saying. Yeah, girl gotta, basketball now, is when, fire. When you, when you watch Don Staley's Don Staley's statement. Is that her name, Don Staley? No, that's Kim uh, Kim Mulkey for LSU. Don Staley is the legendary coach of the Gamecock. Damn. But... Don Staley's oh. statement was very good, too. You know, she just apologized for everybody, and she's like, that's not my team, whatever, whatever. I'm not mad at this because it's wow, real. I like, I like this that. This is a real statement. You know what I mean? She started off like, yo, we don't need none of this. Yeah. But, but if you want that smoke, go If you want go the get smoke, it. go put, pick on somebody on your own mm. side. That's, yeah, I wasn't mad at that. But, you know, what I would tell her is that, you know, Angel Reese didn't have anything to do with this. You know what I'm saying? Angel Reese didn't push... Flaugenade to the, I mean, uh, Flaugenade didn't shove. Angel Reese wasn't the person who shoved uh, the, the the Gamecock player. It was Flaugenade. So Kim, not Kim. What's her name? She just hit the game winning shot, the three pointer. It don't matter. No, it does matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why do you want? <laughs> it does. Jesus I mean, Christ, does it, man. Does it matter, Jesus, bro? It's Women's Month, man. It's. Oh, is that why we're talking about this? No, we're talking about this because <laughs> women's let basketball, it, college let me look basketball it up for you. is fire. Let me look it up. Okay. For you. That's why. What's her name? She hit the game winning shot against Tennessee, man. You know who I'm talking about. What team? The game called uh, Cardoso. Cardoso. Camilla. Camilla Cardoso. Camilla Cardoso was just being an enforcer, man. That's what she did. I'm not mad at enforcers. The game needs enforcers. She hit the game winning three the night before. Then you bump my teammate. I don't like that. You going to the ground. I don't have a problem with none of it, yo. The yeah. tournament is going to be fire. I'm definitely going to a game. I mean, we might have to go to the game. We're going to a game. Let's pay some bills. Look at this. Look at look 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 at look at look at look, look, look at Malaysia. Oh my God! Oh, Actually, that was filthy. That was filthy. We're gonna see that one all season. Malaysia is a beast. You can't do nothing with a show. 
What? You couldn't do nothing with it. The Eiffel Tower I'm slapping that ball into I mean, the fucking nah, bleachers. Stop. I mean, that was pretty. I ain't gonna lie. That's her all year long. She's a freshman. Nah, she's nice. Oh, she's nice. Malaysia, Malaysia is dumb nice. Let's pay some bills, Taylor gang. Taylor, you think you can beat Caitlin Clark one on one? Seriously? Yeah, with the Charlamagne, come on. <laughs> Make it big, Taylor, so I can see so, it. It's not even like, it's not even do I think in a three point shootout? No, of course not. But if like she's playing D on me, what is she going to do? I don't, think you'll, if, I don't think you'll get the ball. What if I start with the ball? You start with the ball, you're going to miss. How will I miss? You're gonna miss. I'm going to back her down How and then I'm just going to do a layup. Huh? 5'11"? How tall is she? Let's see how tall Caitlyn is. She's a girl. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, she could be 7'4". No, it's not going to no, stop no. me from backing her down, Let's getting see. her in the fucking Yo, Why post. didn't we ever get any women to take up Andrew? I wonder. <laughs> you had, you I said wonder. you had, had basketball She's six friends. Feet. She's six feet? She's six feet flat. Fuck. Caitlyn's six foot. <laughs> Go like this. You got a little Caitlin, Caitlin's six How tall nah. are you? I'm 6'2". But I'm I'm full of testosterone, strength, muscles, jumping ability, huge dick. Wow. Caitlin washes you, bro. Malaysia washes you too. Malaysia, they they, they they too ill off the handle. You can't hold them. Well, come on, too bro. fast. Stop bro. it. I'm not even gonna play D. You, what you think you're running the forty right now? I'm not gonna play D. I'm just gonna shout out things that they're insecure about. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you play D on winning. Studs are coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have a double chin. <laughs> 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 your second toe's longer than your first. <laughs> your daddy don't love you. <laughs> I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't have the hezzy anymore, so I gotta talk that shit. That's my superpower. You don't wanna play me. You do them like you just did me, like, hey, 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 you got a little hair on you. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to get your mustache waxed? Yo, we're saying all that to say women's basketball is fire, man. Shout Love out to the women's, women's basketball. basketball. No, nah, for real. Shout out to all of them. I've Shout been out to Caitlin. About a year and a half. Shout out to Malaysia as well. I'm telling you. Uh, that, finish, that finish was crazy. No bullshit. The finish, no. the, that finish was unbelievable. It is very exciting to watch. They and good take, for them. They take Building it very the sport. serious, man. Uh, mood, and they got more stars. I think that's the other thing, too. But that's because most guys can go to the league. Yeah. So the, the N NBA, I mean, the NCAA. They stay in the NCAA a little right. bit longer. They get to develop stars. I know like that's right. Women's college basketball gets to right. develop stars. All the stars that could be in the men's run to the NBA. Mm. You know? Go like this right here. You, you're... You, yeah, there you go. You you were making a great point. Always got to tell studs to wipe their mouth. It's yeah, crazy. because what do they got on it? Probably yeast. Okay, so... <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Come on, bro. Let us be silly. Can we this just be silly? Podcast. It's women's month. That's right. We're just two dads who like to come here and be fucking We're silly. girl dads. That's we can right. make these jokes. That's right. Can we we be brought silly? women into this world. That's right. Your dad doesn't know she's a girl dad yet. All my, my daughter, daughter doesn't know, know that she's a girl dad yet? What does that even Talk? mean? Nothing. I don't mean to hurt your feelings. Sorry. But how does that hurt my feelings? <laughs> Taylor, just because you didn't start thinking. Yeah. <laughs> you said like, something without don't thinking. Don't do that to his child. Yeah, <laughs> that's, not, that's not what I'm thinking that's at all. exactly what no, you said. No, I'm just saying, okay. like, she... When she did got, you realize you was a girl dad? Because you're a girl dad. Yeah, like, when I was... You're not was, a girl dad. You're a girl that has a dad. Just like my daughter. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Because... You can't be a girl dad. I'm a girl dad like is your dad. That. Your dad's a girl dad. That, you're a girl. That was fire. That was fire. You're <laughs> yeah. a girl dad. Taylor. Taylor, Taylor, like, you're a girl. If I can be a stud, you can be a girl dad. You're it's a, okay. You're a daddy's, Taylor, you're a daddy's Taylor, girl. Do you she high, bro. She just just admit you're dad. high. You came high. She just realized it when she said. I know. <laughs> She's about to like, She said, first of all. Taylor, you identify as a girl dad. It's okay. Are you a girl dad? This is America. What's it like raising a girl Actually, these niggas like... I'm their daddy because they're all sick. Yeah, so it all doesn't you no matter. <laughs> exactly. <Great. laughs> so yeah, it doesn't yeah, really matter. Yo. They girl dads to me. They girl they're girl dads to you. That still <laughs> don't <laughs> work. I had to think about it. No. <laughs> they're, 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 I thought about it too. They're daddy's oh, girls. You. Yeah, I ran no. through my brain. You're a daddy's girl. Yeah. Your guys are girl dads to you. They girl are daddy's dad. girls girl to you. Your dad is. The dad, right? Yeah. Okay. So. 
you go first. Yeah, I'm running to do my own. No, no, no. The math is working. They all my bitches. That's all I want to say. They all my bitches. Don't you dare either way yourself out of this one. You said they're all your what? They're all my bitches. During women's history. That's how you see it. That's how you talk about men during women's history month? That's how you talk about men who are women during women's history month? Yes, hey, stud. The fuck? Hey, stud. Crazy. That's crazy. Hey, stud. I am a stud. I'm proud to be a stud. What's up? What's your stud name? <laughs> Dan. <laughs> Dan. Uh, Danny. Danny. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Why? You know, you should call a good yourself, unisex name. No, you should call yourself a soft. It'd be Lenny. A soft. A soft dick in your mouth. I didn't see that coming. Studs don't suck dick. Yeah, that's why it's soft. I didn't say a hard. I said a soft. I don't even know what to do with this. What is this? This is how they look in real life. Look like my strap on. Crazy. Let's pay some bills. Move. <laughs> Salute to Mood, man. Mood is known for their federally legal THC. Now they're adding their most potent product yet to the lineup. Mm. Introducing hemp-based THC, a flower, the future of legal THC. Try it along with all of Mood's other amazing offerings like flower, gummies, vapes, and more. And for a limited time, Mood is giving our listeners a free THC, a pre-roll, and 20% off your first order. Just visit hellomood.com and use our code, idiots. Y'all know I love me some gummies okay i love something that takes the edge off the anxiety i love something that makes me sleep better another thing another reason i like uh you know edibles now i like edibles for food i'm not gonna lie when you like do you take wait the, actually cooking with no 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 like when you eat it oh and then you it enhances your, uh, yeah, your taste yeah. buds oh my god man no i see that so mood puts an end to guessing games with federally legal forms of thc extracted from hemp plants all of their products are regularly tested in third-party labs, sourced from small family farms, and pesticide-free. Try different screens for specific moods, from euphoric to energized, creative to chill, and plenty of versatile products that go with whatever mood you're going for. However you like to take THC, mood has you covered. Great for both beginner and veteran users. Great tasting gummies, classic flower, convenient pre-rolls, and so much more. Try Mood's new THCA flower today. For a limited time, only get 20% off your first order and a free THCA pre Pre-roll. Just go to hellomood.com and use promo code Izzy Idiots. That's hello m o o d dot com. Code Idiots for twenty percent off your order and a free THCA pre-roll. Guys, this episode is also brought to you by Robinhood. Did you know that even if you have a four hundred one k for retirement, you can still have an IRA? Robinhood has the only IRA that gives you a three percent boost on every dollar you contribute when you subscribe to Robinhood Gold. But get this: now through April thirtieth, Robinhood is even boosting every single dollar you transfer in from other retirement accounts with a 3% match. That's right. No cap on the 3% match. Robinhood Gold gets you the most for your retirement thanks to their IRA with a 3% match. This offer is good through April 30th. So get started at Robinhood.com slash boost. Subscription fees do apply. And now for some legal info. Claim as quarter one 2024 validated by Radius Global Market Research. Investing involves risk, including loss. Limitations apply to IRAs and 401ks. 3% match requires Robinhood gold for one year from the date of first 3% match. Must keep Robinhood, Robinhood IRA for five years. 3% matching on transfers is subject uh, to specific terms and conditions, Robinhood IRA available to U.S. customers in good standing. Robinhood Financial LLC, member SIPC, is a registered broker deal. Now let's get back to the show. You let's said do Robin Harder. Fuck, what did I say? You Robin said, Hood? Let's get Robin Hart. Let's get Robin Harder. When you were God reading it, you mixed, you mixed it up. Sick ass Bruce Wayne. Wait, just just the last it. one? No, you saved it, but oh. you definitely said that first. Robin Harder? Let's get Robin Fuck. Hart. You sick ass Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Bruce Wayne and Alfred used to say that all the time in the goddamn back end. Yeah, they were filthy. Nasty ass fucks. They were just filthy. You know what I'm saying? Um, church announcements. What we got, Show T? Um, church announcements. Uh, oh, we just announced uh, Edmonton. Edmonton, uh, Canada. We're going to be doing that. We just added a four show. Uh, me and Shane Gillis in Edmonton, Canada. That's going to be fucking crazy. Great outdoors fest. That should be on sale now when this episode comes out. So make sure you get that. Uh, I'm sure you guys already know Shane. If you don't know him, go check him out. Hilarious. YouTube just hosted fucking SNL. He's killing the game. Um, and uh, also uh, Vancouver, we added a four show. So Vancouver, go get that. 
Uh, this weekend will be in uh, Tampa and Miami. Very excited to that. We added a bunch of other shows, so make sure you check it out. Nashville, we're coming in there. Uh, Houston, Austin, Texas. And uh, yeah, go grab those tickets, man. Appreciate you. More cities, theandrewschultz.com, the life tour. Thank you very much. Three quick church announcements. Uh, make sure you go get My Black Country uh, from the good sister Alice Randall. My Black Country is a journey through country music's black past, present, and future. It is the next release. Uh, off my book imprint, Black Privilege Publishing. It'll be in bookstores April 9th, but it is available for pre-order right now. Thank you to everybody that's already been going out there uh, getting it for pre-order. I see y'all really taking Beyonce's country music career serious because a lot of y'all want to learn more about country music and about, you know, black people's role in country music. So they have been purchasing my black country, man. So make sure you go get that. And uh, my next book, my third book, Get Honest or Die Lying, Why Small Talk Sucks, will be in bookstores and everywhere you buy books May 21st, but you can pre-order right now wherever you buy books, man. It literally is exactly what it says it is. Get honest or die lying why small talk sucks because I feel like we focus too much on the micros and we make all of these micros macros. So if you don't, you know, have bigger things to talk about, I'm giving you some in this book. And it's not even a book that I want you to read and agree with the things that I'm talking about. It's just a book that's literally here to open up larger discussions. Like, you know how you be sitting around with somebody sometime and you don't even know what the fuck to talk about? Hmm. It's perfectly fine to, to not, not talk. say shit. Yep. It's perfectly fine. We discussed that in the book. But if you do want to talk, I gave you some topics in the book uh, to discuss. That's so, actually a great idea. That's right. May 21st, 2024. <laughs> if you need to fill the air. If you need to fill the air. Do it with this. Whip out Charlemagne's new book, Get Honest and Die Lying, and say, hey, did you see what Charlemagne said about this? Can did you say you see one? what Charlemagne said about that? Oh, I talk about everything in the book. I got. I talk about politics in the book. I talk about, of course, I talk about politics. I talk about mental health in the book. Of course, I talk about mental health. But I talk about all kind of stuff, like uh, growing, growing up, how to... Uh, navigate being a father, you know. No, no, I'm saying the topics that you would talk about. If, oh. Yeah, yeah, to like fill the dead air. It's a really good uh, strategy. It's you, a, oh, it's a bunch of them. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it, it can be something as simple as this, right? Like, I mean, we're about to talk about something in a minute, but I don't know, you mean like something from the book? Like you said in the book, you also have things that people yes. can bring up if they can't sit in silence. Yes. Like, what's one of them? Oh, so yeah, the, the topics range, so... It's like my thoughts on politics in the current political landscape. My thoughts on being a father and, you know, how to navigate being yeah. a girl dad. You yeah. know, it's just like different things you Entitlement can... Entitlement was the one. Entitlement culture. You oh, know good. What I'm saying the worldwide nigga net. Like, it's, a, it's things that you can actually discuss. Yeah, this is now, great. you might not want to discuss the worldwide nigga net. Why? Chapter. Well, you can. You just would have to use the acronym. Which is? WWND. No, worldwide nigga. WWNN. W yeah. W W N N. Yeah. Okay. And listen, make sure you go get your tickets for the second annual Black Effect Podcast Festival bam, bam, bam. happening April 27th at Pullman Yards in Love Atlanta. It. Gillian Wallow going to be on that podcast stage. Uh, the Poor Minds podcast, Dre and Lexi going to be on that podcast stage. Mandy and Wheezy Horrible Decisions going to be on that podcast stage. Uh, Debbie Brown, she's going to be on that podcast stage doing her podcast deeply well. So we got the mindfulness, mental health thing covered. Uh, Will Lucas, he'll be there doing Black Tech Green Money Live. So we got financial literacy covered. The Baller Alert Show, uh, they'll be there doing their podcast live. And Jess Hilarious, she'll be there doing her podcast Carefully Reckless Live. She'll be doing uh, Just Fix My Mess live on stage. So everybody that's always calling in the Breakfast Club wanting Just to fix their mess and emailing her podcast and sending her messages via her podcast, Carefully Reckless, she'll be do it there doing that live. Who are you most excited to see at the... Uh... At the fest. I'm always, ex and this is going to sound politically correct, but I'm always excited to see everybody because I'm, I'm, I love the evolution of podcasts. Hmm. Like, think about it. 11 years ago. Crazy. Probably longer. When did, when did last week start, Chris? Oh, 2011. Okay. Ish. So, Rogue, I think about guys like Rogan. Rogan is like, Rogan's like 10, 11 years old. More than that, I think. Not that much. Maybe, like, he's right, we're right behind him. Like, maybe he might be, he might be 11 or 12. Yeah. And we're, 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 we're 11 years in. Yeah. So I just think about how 11 years ago, people didn't even know what the fuck a podcast was. Crazy. Now, a decade later, you got all you got people making a lot of money, 
People have turned this into a business. I just came from the iHeartRadio Podcast Awards in Austin, Texas Crazy. on Monday. Crazy. This is my second annual Black Effect Podcast Festival. We sold out last year. We on pace to sell out this year. So I'm always intrigued to see how people take their live show. So with that said, I'm very excited to see Poor Minds because okay. I have not seen them live before, but I've heard a, a lot of amazing things about their live show. Horrible Decisions always puts on a great live show. I still have yet to see... I haven't seen anybody better yet on stage, yo. Wow. I haven't. Big compliment. I haven't. It's hard. Shout out Horrible Decisions, man. It's hard to give that the 85 South show, even though 85 South is incredible, because of what they do. It's three stand-up comedians. Ah. And DC is a performer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I so see. He, I he, see what you're saying. He, not only does he do stand-up, you know, they act... You know, they do music, they sing, like they know the stage. It more lends themselves to that. Yes. Right. I ex like when we when you go see 85 South Show, you know they gonna be good on stage. It, it surprises me when I when I see like, damn, Mandy and Weezy really get they busy on that it. stage. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I feel I'm, I'm I'm very excited to see Poor Minds. I can't lie. I'm very excited to see uh Poor Minds. So make sure you go get your tickets April 27th, Pullman Yards in Atlanta, second annual Black Effect Podcast Festival. When did Rogan start? 2009. 2009. How many years is that? What is it? What are we in? 15 years? <clears throat> Let me see. We're 2024. So like 14, 15 years? Yeah. Very young. Still very young. Very young. Crazy. Very young. Um, House passes bill, <clears throat> the fourth TikTok sale. Oh, yeah. What's your theory on this? From Chinese owner are banned the app. Um, what are you thinking? I don't really have a theory. I think that, you know, the the U.S. and I think all when, whenever you see stuff like this, these countries have more intel than we do. These countries meaning? Because America is not the first country to ban TikTok. Oh, for sure. There's and a, also keep in mind, China doesn't let our apps in. You know what I'm saying? For so, this exact reason. They don't right. want us collecting data. That's right. So now, they, yeah. But 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 Taylor made a good point earlier. Which is? Which is rare. She made a good point. And she, I didn't even say nothing. Woman to Shima. You farted just now? <laughs> yeah. that, don't do that. No, that was no, that I shit felt fart. like it came from over there. I was over there. Are you serious? Yeah. Guys, you got to be the truth with ass then. Guys listening. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> guys listening. He's, that shit, the way, he must have aimed that shit and that shit must have bounced off the wall because it sounded like it came from you, Taylor. Oh, no, it didn't. It. Sure? <laughs> oh, my Trilliquist grandfather's grave. Guys listening. God is listening. Okay. I farted. But, that wasn't, but okay. you've also farted in your life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so stop <laughs> acting like you're some saint. Yes, you do fart. Fart all the goddamn yeah, time. I, I want to act like someone else did. Why? You don't know how to have fun. You've probably done that before in your life. Farting all day. Take off your underwear full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Underwear's full of shit. No, not underwear. When they do those uh, those those scratch pants. Oh them? yeah, yoga pants. That's why we call them wolf pants. You got the wolf. <laughs> Yo, can you full of pants. wolf. When you take what were you that gonna say? Out, smart that, that I just said. Hit you after a long day. Something hey. smart that I said. Why oh, <laughs> she said that your cell phone, your smartphone is already collecting mad data. Of course. So yeah. that's why I said, why are you so worried about this thing? Yeah, it's, no, for us. The idea is huh? it's collecting data yeah. for us. So, like, Not if America is collecting data on its own citizens, that's okay. If another country is collecting right. data on our citizens, that's a little concerning. And then also when you have a social media app, they can put, they can, one, understand the culture here, and then they can also push certain content to change the culture. That's right. So what if they push a bunch of videos that make being a Democrat really look really cool or being a Republican look really cool or, or a candidate look really cool, and then they start skewing elections in that that's way. That's right. Or even radicalizing They don't you. do that on anime or nothing like that? <laughs> what? Taylor Hayes, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you ever forget it. Taylor Hayes, Upper Darby's finest right there. Don't you ever forget it. Don't you ever fucking forget it, Joe. That was good. Okay? <laughs> um, I don't really have a theory on this other than we know what this is. I love like you, this is a Chinese app, and America feels like they're collecting too much of our data. They could be spying on us. Everything you just said is true. Show mm -hmm. other countries have done it. I don't. Other countries have banned it. Um, I think it's terrible for for Biden. Uh, yeah, because you know everybody always want to talk about the black approval rating. Biden's getting his ass kicked all across the board, and yeah. you know he has very low approval ratings with the youth. This ain't no way to get the youth on your side. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Banning their favorite app. Yeah. And you know? they, they could just make another app, though. Huh? Well, that's they, what they, 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 they want TikTok to sell to somebody in America. Right. 
So they're not against TikTok. They're uh, against the idea that the data might be going back to China. China. And now TikTok claims, no, all of our servers are here, yada, yada, yada. But there's no way to actually make sure that it's not going back to China. And since it is a Chinese company, and since Chinese companies are tied to the, what is it called, the Communist Party, especially the successful ones, they are working with the Communist Party. So why wouldn't they take data? I'm going to tell you what you're about to see, though. I feel like this is just the beginning of a lot of regulations, you know, and legislation that is going to cre be created around social media. And what's going to be very interesting to see in the future is how much y'all really want to invest in your careers. Because I have a feeling that at some point, you're going to have to have a license to broadcast certain types of content. Meaning, huh. if you're on YouTube or one of these platforms and you're presenting yourself as a source for news. News, yeah, that's interesting. You're gonna have to go out there and get some type of license. Like, I don't know if y'all know, radio stations and television stations, they have licenses. There's some sort of accountability. Yes, they, they actually yeah. have to go out there and get licenses. You can lose your license if you get too many FCC fines. You know, you can lose your license if the FCC says that you're transmitting things over your airwaves that shouldn't be there. Right. A lot of y'all motherfuckers that's out there spreading the a lot, a, a lot of lies and bullshit. Y'all better get used to it. Y'all better have fun now. Yeah, that's interesting. It's coming. But isn't there a version of that though? Because YouTube, they'll strike your channel if you're doing. They're not stuff. doing it fast enough. But I, it's too much. It's too much bullshit information leaking through the cracks. They have too much influence over people. And, and, and what would what would happen with for people like us who like talk about the news? We talk about culture, but we're also saying that we're idiots. Will we just be able to get to I talk about we, whatever? I think we might be a little bit different because it's 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 a lot of what we do is satire, right? You know, so we'd be protected by satire laws. I would think because those are they are very specific yeah. laws in America yeah. that protect satire. Yeah, I would think. You know, I, I would think because you know we give our opinions. I think that's the difference. People know that we're giving our opinions. Instead of these are the facts. These are the facts. There's people out there literally presenting false information. Like there was a whole article. I, I I'm pretty I didn't I send you that article? Did I send you that article on about, oh, hold on, let me read the, I'm gonna read the headline. I think I told y'all to go look this up. The headline of the article was Fake News YouTube creators target black celebrities with AI generated misinformation. Um, I'm sure it's not just happening to black celebrities, but you know. These things are happening. Like they're, they'll take pictures, or they'll take audio. Mm. They'll take the pictures in the audio and create a false narrative around yeah. the pictures in the audio, and say people got arrested, and say people are, you know, admitting the things that they didn't do. Like it's all types of wild shit going on. Eventually, they're going to put a clamp on it. I think this right here is the beginning stages. I think. Well, I know. I take that back. It started when they bought everybody from these social media apps onto the hill. And did that made made them face the parents of the kids who committed suicide and all kind of stuff. It started with that. Yeah. This is the next step. House passes bill to force TikTok sale. If they force TikTok to sell, you about to start seeing uh, rules and regulations and, and and stipulations clamp down on a lot of. Well, these think stuff. about it. Like with with AI and AI's now ability to create video, its ability to like write essays, That's right. et cetera. You could put out an article. You could say, "Hey, AI." Put out an article about how uh, Charlemagne the God is is actually a stud. And then you could say, AI, create a news website that that article is from. That's right. And then you could say, AI, populate that news website with news stories for 10 years. And you could take one little clip from Brilliant Idiots, of me, even though y'all know I'm saying it in jest, but just me saying, I'm a stud. Exactly. And, and now we, we could go to that website that we asked AI to create, and we'd be like, this is a fake website. And then all of a sudden, it's got stories about random topics for 10 years. Right. We go, oh, this is probably a legit website. That's right. That's right. AI is going to make making fake news and misinformation so much easier. And the concern isn't the people within the country. The concern is people outside of the country and governments outside of our country using it to manipulate us. What, For, if, what, if, what if you're China or Russia or any course. of these countries and you hear a fake AI of President Biden talking about how you going to nuke? Like, literally. And what if, what if you leak it and don't even make it seem like it was an announcement? You leak it like it was just a private conversation that they were having with somebody. Like, Joe Biden was having a private conversation with the, the head of the military, and he said, we're going to have to nuke Russia. Such, 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 such. Now Russia's like, oh, word? Like, you just don't know where this shit can end. So, and, and I don't think humans are smart enough to get in front of it. 
What if AI breaks into a country's defense systems and forget about a fake conversation? They, they, they signals the that they're incoming missiles. Yeah, I do. That's, Why would they do that? Why, Why wouldn't they? Because I mean, AI hallucinates. That's one of the dangers with AI. Oh, you're saying they become sentient and they this decide that they want to... This is what we should do. We should AI hallucinates? Yeah. Explain. I don't fully understand it, but essentially there's a point as it collects data where it begins feeding on itself. It's yeah. collected everything. It's like the snake eating its tail. Mm. And when it gets to that point, it just starts creating new information that isn't actually connected to anything anymore. But he has a Twitter nigga. Well, peace. Damn. Like, yeah. What's it? So AI is doing what all the bloggers do now. They get to a point where they just start making up shit. If you got to create five, six stories a day to eat, you just going to start making up some shit. It's easier to make it up. God damn AI. It is easier to make AI. it up. <laughs> like you supposed to be smarter than everybody. Shit. Yeah, man. I don't know. We, we're yeah, gonna, it's going to be an interesting time that we grow up in and our kids grow up in. Imagine like having to tell your kids something that they read on the internet is completely fabricated. You have to do that now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? It, what, you're saying they'll come back with things that are. Well, 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 well here's the thing. My, my, or maybe my, they have a bigger, they have a stronger bullshit detector. Maybe they grow up knowing well, what they fake don't know. Like, but, but, but you don't know what you don't know. So, like, like right. let's just say, like, my eight year old. She'll come home and tell me something that somebody said to her in class. I'm like, what? That's not true. Like, where'd you where'd you get that from? What well, he said or she said? And I'm like, well, where are these kids getting this shit from? Hmm. To me, these are kids that are on TikTok. These are kids that are on these social media platforms, and they're getting a lot of this BS information. It happens to adults. Yeah. Like adults fall for this shit. You know what I mean? Like right. they're like, my daddy falls for some of this shit. No, you're right. That is true. A lot of adults are falling for these kind of scams. My daddy called me in 2016 because he thought Birdman came and shot up my goddamn house. Why? Because there was an article that Somebody said Somebody put up a goddamn article saying Birdman Yo, that's, came and shot up my house in 2016. Mind you, it's a yeah. Saturday. I'm downstairs minding my business. My After dad, the interview? Yes. So then my wife, because my man call you daddy. I'm like, why? I go upstairs. I got like seven or eight missed calls. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> All because of some stupid ass fake TMZ article did the week of the Birdman, put some respect on my name shit, saying Birdman had my house shot up. That's crazy. So imagine this now. We have an understanding that fake news exists, and we have an understanding of Photoshop and how you can manipulate pictures. Our parents have no understanding, but they're also on the internet. We got to get old people off the internet. You got to get them off the internet. Like the, this Facebook is not safe for y'all. Yo, room. because they could create entire websites. They could manipulate pictures. They could show a picture of you dead. Word up. And your family might believe it. Word up. Well, that's an active scam right now with car crashes. They... Through remote calls, they get a, a snippet of your voice. Okay. Oh, they wow. They manipulate it with AI, and then they call your elderly parents. Oh, my God. And you're voicing, I've just been in a car crash. I need this. saying it's my fault. I'm going to be at the county jail, police station. Please call and help bail me out. Oh and then they have somebody call the same number saying, hey, you know, we have your son. They give them a fake number to call back. It says, you know, somebody answers and says, hi, you're at the, you know, Downtown Manhattan. County wow. Jail. Press one if you want to go for it. And then, wow. okay, well, we can get him out. It's about to happen. You call him AI? No, I was trying to call my dad. Oh. That yeah. happened to him. And they said to him, I just ran a stoplight and crashed into your son. Right. He's dead. I'm being detained by the police. And, and he was like, what? I just ran a I just ran a red light, crashed into your son. I'm being detained by the police. Your son is dead. But it wasn't well, in your you... voice. No, it was no, he's rant. dead. Was... See, that's what's scary. Your voice is out there so much. Think about what they, they... could fake it and make it come yeah. from you. So literally, your voice can call your dad. Yeah, and then be like, "Hey, I'm in a, I'm in an emergency Help. situation. Can you send me ten grand, please? I can't really tell you about and it." My dad would know that was fake. <laughs> That's not how the family works. <laughs> I get those calls, but <laughs> I I get those calls. Yo, man, I got to shout out to all this my a robot. People, man. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you catch me, robot? Yeah, shout, it's like I, I get those calls. It's, it's actually kind of kind of insane. What do you mean? I'm sure you understand this, Schultz. I don't think people realize that we got lives too. <laughs> That we have things that we got to pay and people we got to pay. Yeah. 
So if you hit me and ask me for something, if you say, if you say, yo, I want, yo, and then by the way, I don't have no problem helping people out. But you can't hit me and tell me, like, I'm trying to get, yo, I, I just had to pay my taxes. So I, I need to stay on my feet. How much you think I had to pay in taxes? <laughs> <laughs> like, I may come to work smiling every day, but on, in, inside I'm terrified. I'm sad. Yeah, 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 okay? Yeah. I may look like I'm on my feet. I'm on my back after Uncle Sam finished with me. Actually, <laughs> on my stomach. Okay? <laughs> Uncle Sam is the only man that can make me lay on my stomach and say, toot that motherfucker up. <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right? I know the internet thinks I'm gay, but I promise you the only man who has ever man. fucked me is moment. Uncle Sam. And I got to act like I like it. <laughs> we can't even buck. <laughs> like, we can't even buck. Okay, and Uncle, and you, and you, you gotta fuck. Gotta fuck. Uncle Sam is the only person we don't give consent to. Yeah, and he can just take it. And if you say no, you go to jail. You go to fucking jail. And when you come out of jail, what you gotta do? Still fuck. Still fuck. <laughs> God damn, yo! Why do we act? Why is this okay? Y'all wanna not. have a real cool? That's what we need to be revoting. <laughs> like, I'm Y'all revoting over the wrong shit. Fuck overthrowing the results of an Taxes. election, yo. Come on, Overthrow man. Overthrow the IRS. Come on, man. Come on, man. Be a lot of support. That's all I'm simply saying. Like, we got to change the way taxes are done in this country. We don't know where the money's going. Okay? New York should look like Dubai, Schultz. Facts, though. Why doesn't New York look like Dubai? We don't have oil. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We, pin, we spend too much money in taxes for New York not to look Also, like our richest citizens and corporations don't pay taxes. That's, an, that's the other issue is that, yeah, the super, super rich New Yorkers, they're not paying no taxes paying. here. They're, they're living in Delaware. They're incorporated some other place. Yeah. Shit, so am I. But what the fuck that got to do with anything? <laughs> they're getting around the system. They know well. They're not making a salary. The rich people don't make salaries. It's fucked up, man. We out here making salaries, bro. It's fucked up. Yeah. It's really fucked up, yo. What else we got, Taylor? <laughs> it's actually depressing. I'm not going to lie. It's depressing. It's depressing. And that's why, so for everybody asking, well, that's let's, why I can't give you no money. <laughs> let's, let's, do, let's do an ad, Taylor. Let's, let's, let's knock it to death. And then we can do some Ask an Idiot. Two. Salute to DoorDash, okay? All right, DoorDash might be the only thing I can afford right now. You want more from delivery? You can get it with Dash Pass by DoorDash. Dash Pass is the most affordable way to get anything in your area delivered to your door, helping you save money and time with every DoorDash order. Use code IDIOTS24 and get 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $12 or more after signing up for Dash Pass. With $0 delivery fees and lower service fees on eligible orders, Dash Pass makes it easy to save on restaurants, groceries, retail items, and all your local favorites that deliver on DoorDash. Dash Pass pays for itself in two orders on average, making delivery even more worth it. Plus, Dash Pass gives you special access to exclusive promotions and member-only menu items, all for only $9.99 a month. Open the door to $0 delivery fees and more. Sign up for Dash Pass today, only on DoorDash. That's 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $12 or more after signing up for Dash Pass with code IDIOTS24. Subject to change, terms apply. This episode has also been brought to you by Blue Chew, okay? Hardest dick on the planet. If you want the hardest dick on the planet, you're going to have to chew it up and chew it out, okay? Blue Chew, same active ingredients inside. Viagra, Cialis, but this is the chew. This one that we rock with, this one you're going to keep your girl satisfied with, your side chick satisfied with, your new chick, your old chick. Every girl in your life deserves the best dick that you got, and Blue Chew is going to help you deliver it. And you know what? You're going to get it for free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. Think about that. $5 shipping when you go to bluechew.com and use the promo code IDIOTS. You are very welcome. Now, let's get back to the show and let's do some Asking Idiots, Taylor. Let's do some Asking Idiots, Taylor gang. Damn, Don Lemon's partnership with Elon Musk over already? What, what happened with that? Did they, they were going to do a show? Yeah, I think they running a running... I think this is a rollout. For... Yeah, because Tucker Carlson got a show on X. And so Elon Musk gave Don Lemon the same kind of show because he wanted diversity of voices. And uh, I guess Elon Musk was Don Lemon's first guest. But Elon didn't like the conversation, so Don Lemon is saying. And so Don put out a statement saying that their partnership is canceled because Elon 
pulled the plug on it. I think it's a rollout. They're going to put out the episode. Well, he's, he's, he already said they're putting out the episode anyway. But I think it's a rollout. And then where would he go? Continue on Twitter? Well, yeah, it's going to be on YouTube. I mean, it's just like Tucker Carlson's show. It comes on YouTube. It comes on X. I don't know. I guess it premieres on X, then goes to YouTube. I don't know. Mm. But I just think it's just a rollout for everybody to tune in to watch Elon Musk on Monday. Mm. Probably. That's, that's what I think. As a person who knows a thing or two about manipulating people for rollouts, I think this is a, <laughs> this is a rollout. Uh, Alexa Grin says, what is your favorite way to express yourself? Shotzi? My favorite way? Oh, nocturnal emissions. <laughs> okay, okay. Farting is what you're saying. No, 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 no. What is nocturnal emissions? Uh, wet dreams. Really? Yeah, I've been having some wet dreams. Yeah. You want to give us more details or... No, I mean, I just come really fast. I apologize and I wake up. <laughs> Who do you apologize to in your dream? The girl sucking it up. Ooh. Yeah. Ain't that the whole point, though, if, you, if a girl's giving you head? Like, you want it to be quick. Like, why would you sit there and disrespect her by having it in your mouth, have, you know, for mad long? Yeah, that's a great point. Long. I should I should be like, you're welcome. Yeah, the fact that a bitch don't want that shit in her mouth all, all that time. Yeah. I, I'm going to stop feeling bad about that. You don't even chew gum for that long, bro. Think about think about when you put something in your mouth. How long? If you was a cigarette smoker, how long would it take to smoke a cigarette? I don't know, a minute, two That's minutes. That's what I'm saying. If you was a gum chewer, how much long, how long are you going to chew the gum? Dude, you've completely changed the subconscious version of myself. Yeah. Like, I'm not apologizing for coming fast in my oh. nocturnal emissions anymore. If a woman if a woman gives you oral sex, you know, if you should come fast. Oh, should. Dude, That's the man. whole point. You you're should, right, Taylor? Man, dude. You should. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's like, as much as... It's, Here it's, I am, thinking they're sad that they don't get to suck it longer. No, <laughs> man. <laughs> Here I am feeling bad for these girls. Jaws, that their whole day they've been just waiting to suck it up. Your jaws hurt, right, Taylor? Uh, it's just. Uh, I'm not discussing what I do, but I've heard that it hurt. Yeah. What? <laughs> I've heard that it hurt. <laughs> oh, that's right. Because we heard that from Trav. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. No, but you do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm because you, you like them bigger. You like kid. bigger guys' cocks. You say that a lot more on the show. You say that on the show a lot. But what y'all call big is like. This, I feel like I like this. What no. do your dad and brother say when they listen to this? If I was your brother, your brother should be like, yo, my you dad knows Taylor not talking? to listen. <laughs> my favorite way to express myself clearly is talking, duh. And that's what we, that's what we do, you know what I mean? I like to talk, all right? Yo, this is a good question. question. Okay. Alexa Gren. Same person. Oh. You got a back-to-back, -back, Alexa. Fuck. Rather go back in time to meet your ancestors or future to meet your descendants. Easy call for me. Go. The future, man. Well, yeah, as a person of color. Yeah. The future. I mean, the way the world's going, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I might pull up to the future yeah, and be like, yeah. damn, they really got y'all, huh? I could go get back. The fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I could go back and then meet all of our descendants and be like, you won't believe this, but in a few hundred years, we're going to be best friends. <laughs> Back to work, guys. <laughs> nah, I'll, take, I'll take the future, man, because um, cause when you go back to the present, yeah, you like the smartest person, bro. Like, you done seen it all. Motherfuckers when, you go, think you can... when you go back in time. Yeah, and then you got to yeah. think, everything that we talk about is, like, recorded and shit. So... Brilliant Idiots, Breakfast Club, all that shit will be fire once I see 20, 30 years down the line. Oh, and then you come back. Now I'm 65 and oh, I'm the prophet. You're the oracle. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, the future. You know? It's got to be future. It's got to be future. It's got to be the future, man. Yeah. got to be the future. Um, Probably hashtag poet. But Shaw I also think we say that because our parents are still alive. I think if our parents aren't there, then you then you start going, man, I might want to go back well, and hang out We're not going to be here in the future. We're only there for a brief time. We got the DeLorean. So we're in the future. Yeah. You know our parents are gone. I wouldn't even go no, look. No, I'm saying like. I wouldn't even go look that shit up though. Like I wouldn't look to see like when my parents, I wouldn't look to see when any of my people actually passed away. Mm, I wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't want to know that. I'm saying if our parents had already passed away, we'd probably want to go back in time and kick it with them for a minute. Nah. You crazy. You crazy. Why? Why, man? You've been with them since day one. Like, what do you mean? Yo, this is a crazy <laughs> question. What, what this is a mean? crazy question. We got some probably, crazy questions. Probably <laughs> underscore poet. Charlotte, if you had to trust one white person to own you as a house slave. <laughs> why? <laughs> Suck my dick, probably. You sound crazy, yo. <laughs> yo. But... 
Nobody. <laughs> Not one. Are you crazy? That would be crazy if shit does end up like, you know, like what if we really end up going backwards as a society? Yeah. And like slavery does return, but you have to decide what white person to work for. I'm just saying. And you think you're going to work for like some cool ass white people and they like, nah, I've been waiting on this. <laughs> They're like, no, no, no. You thought this was going to be easy. <laughs> oh, uh, classic. Now, this is a good one. Classic Grant says, can insecurity be a healthy human emotion? Healthy is a it weird is. word. It can be productive. It can be helpful. I don't know if it's healthy, but it, it can be helpful. I think it can be healthy. Healthy? Depending on the circumstance. I'll tell you why. Okay. If you're out of shape and you're, oh. you're insecure about the way you look. There you go. And you decide to make some changes. Yeah. You'll go in the gym. No, that's a great, hey, that's workout. great. And that could be the same with anything. Your posture. That's and, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Same, I hear, I hear right. you. That's right. You I hear know, you. Um, as long as it's not crippling. If the insecurity is crippling to the point where like you yes. can't make change, then you're fine. That's fucked. right. That's right. Like if, you, if, you're, if you're too insecure to, 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 to shift. Because some people are too insecure, insecure to shift. Like, I know people who have crippling anxiety, you can't know, way anything. worse than mine. I, mine isn't crippling. I know people who can't leave the house, yep. you yep. know? Yep. So, you know, that's, that's, you gotta, they got to go get treated for that, yep. you know? So I think some insecurities, like, you know, just knowing that you have that type of anxiety, some people don't ever go get help the help for, for it, yeah. you know? So yeah. I think, yeah, I think, I think insecurity can be a healthy human emotion. What's your insecurity, Alex? Mm. My height. That was shows taller. And then you can do about that, though. I mean, you could get surgery if you... Oh, you wear shoes to make yourself taller. Okay. Taylor, what's your insecurity? It's nothing, like, physical necessarily. Are we talking about physical? No, just, just in, in general. general. It'll be, like, scared to fail. Like, staring stuff like that. Scared to fail? Yeah. Taylor, nothing about you strikes me as scared to fail. Like, yeah. I, <laughs> I hide it well, then. Really? Mm-hmm. Interesting. That's Chris. why I'm so confident, though. That's like, what, I'm scared. Oh, no, you, you're you're beyond confident. <laughs> we hear you on this podcast. Like, nobody could say the things you say <laughs> if they didn't have ultimate confidence in themselves. <laughs> it's just a fact. What about you, Chris? What's your insecurity? Yeah, I'd say it's a version of Taylor. Like, not measuring up Yeah, would be my... To my circumstances, yeah. Interesting. I just think, uh, yeah... Uh, uh, What's yours, Charlotte? <sighs> what is my insecurity? What is my insecurity? I think um I think people pleasing, but that stems from that stems from sexual abuse as a child. Jesus fucking so Christ. when you know the person <laughs> when when the person God, the, how am I I'm gonna telling follow you the that? truth. God how am damn. I gonna follow that, bro? Is, I'm just saying. How am the, I supposed to follow when that? When the person yeah. when when, when the person drop the M-bomb, was dude. sexually abusing me as a child, and then I made them stop. They would call me ugly and all kind of stuff. So there was a thing in me that just wanted to give people what they wanted, even if it made me uncomfortable, even if it was to my detriment, I would still do it. So I would say the insecurity is like, I, I, I guess a form of people not liking people you? pleasing. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 what it is. People not liking me if I don't do something for them. What? Why are you so it me? makes things like very trans transactional. But I'm at the point in my life where I just I like to be of service. So I don't mind doing things for people, but I'm doing things for people because I genuinely want to do them. Yeah, you want to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, I think that would be my my insecurity. Go ahead. <laughs> Why what about what? yours? You don't got to make it deep. Tell us. Yeah, tell us. <laughs> Unless you want to. Tell us. I know what it is. What's my insecurity? I feel like it's something with your daughter. Daughter just got here. That's so? a that's a normal parental paranoia. Um. 
What is, that's not insecurity. Though. It's not insecurity. I wouldn't call it insecurity. There's anxiety, a lot anxiety. of anxiety, anxiety for sure. You want yeah. to be a good dad and do those types of things. Yeah, insecurity. I mean, there's tons. I mean, for a living, I literally go on stages and you know seek the validation of strangers. What so. a sociopath. What a fucking psychopath. Yeah. Stand up comics are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, to, to go out yeah. on stage by yourself and, yeah. and to try to win a crowd of thousands over and like yeah. to, to want that abuse. Yeah. Yeah. It's Especially crazy. the ones who got booed and keep going up there. You got to do it. No, you don't. Now that you do. You really don't. But it does feel I mean, great. I love it. Yeah. All right, there's nothing I love more than a person who keeps going on that stage <laughs> trying to figure it out You're an and animal. cannot figure it out. You're an animal. <laughs> okay. You're just an animal. I loved it. I wish I had that kind of confidence because I would have quit. Um, whole... I have a question. Yes. Isn't it always about making them laugh or are you Oh, trying... my God. Wow. No, this is, no, a, good, no, no. This is a good question. It like, really what are you trying it? to get out of it? I think that like there's <laughs> no, also No, but no, no, because he's he says to slick things. Laugh. So it's, are you It's making them laugh, I think, on like your terms, at least for me. I think that maybe there's I think there's some people who are like just getting the laugh at any thing is okay. The only reason yeah. I'm asking that is because I feel like Dave Chappelle I don't feel like he's looking for people to laugh anymore. I feel like to make them look in a different When Jay, when Dave Chappelle does a stand up, he wants you to laugh. But we was talking about this earlier. We was in the group chat. Through to our guy D Block, we was talking about what we look for in comics. And, and number one, the root of a comic is funny. So that's yeah. number one. Got to be funny. Make me think. That yep. This is my my personal point. My personal take. Make me think. Make me laugh. Make me think. Make me cringe. Make sense. Make simplify something complicated. Yeah. That's what I want my comics to do. Make and, me laugh. Yeah. Make me think. Make me cringe. Simplify something complicated. And if and then on top of that, the cherry is if you can make someone feel something i think that that's really important if there's like a feeling that resonates i think that's that's really great make them feel yeah yeah but yeah i think that's a great great way of looking at it uh whole underscore sc says can y'all talk more about the business in the brain idiots and how it affects y'all's friendship it doesn't uh, it's just like this has been the ultimate kickback for 10 years we probably should pay more attention to the business side I, of this. Probably. Yeah, y'all be asking us for merch and all kind of shit. And yeah. Like we, you know, I don't think we've ever taken the business of I think Taylor's been robbing us blind. You think? Yeah, starting some sort of like pie factory down there in Lower <laughs> Area. I've been asking when y'all going to... Come up with new merch and shit. Yeah, we need to be better I entrepreneurs. Again. I did. You didn't. No, that was I didn't fart. This time I farted. <laughs> I, do, I, 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 I do think merch is a good thing. We need merch because yeah. there's. A, I, I run into a lot of brilliant idiot listeners. Yo. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Like a lot, lot. And they be wanting to rep. Rep. So we need to do that. We need to get some merch going. Yeah. Let's make it happen. All your fans have gel in their hair. Mine? Yeah. <laughs> Respect. I've noticed that. Respect. Like whenever a guy comes up to me and they got like how your shit look now to slick back or the yeah. G Easy. Yeah. I know they about to. I'm 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 not even joking. I'm a, I, I could actually, if I could pull out my phone every time that happens, you'll be like, damn. They're all they they watch, they 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 know brilliant idiots, they follow Schultz, and that's why they fuck with me. There we go, boys. I'm telling you. There we and, go. And boys. I, I've, I've noticed it. I told my wife that the other day. I'm like, yo, I don't know. I don't know. What, we got a look. We got an aesthetic, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. It, it, to, be, it, to be honest with you, it's a lot more people who talk to me nowadays. Maybe because I don't be out, so maybe I notice it more. Yeah. But when I go out, and it's a lot more white people. I think it's where you're at in your life. It's either than... It's Financially. Either, you think? They either say... They either, you don't hang out with blacks anymore, dude. <laughs> no, I do. I have a lot of black friends. But it, it's, 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 it's where they see me. So they see me on Daily no, Show. No. They see me... <laughs> On the news and stuff, and they 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 see the brilliant this podcast. I don't think you hang out with black people as much. I'm as telling you, you, you take them to Anguilla or something. But when you hang out with black people, you <laughs> yeah. have to leave America. You're like, no, that's uh, not true. No, no. Yeah, like I only hang out with black people that have passports. I'm not playing around with that's you guys. That's not true. Yes, yes, I've created my own ecosystem. You have a great ecosystem. It is. It's interesting. It is. It's very, especially the news angle of it all. It's very interesting. Why? Why was that? Because like you know, you have white people walk up to you and be like. You keep talking that truth, man. I like you. I like your common sense takes. You know, and I'm be like, yeah. no doubt. Then they whisper, MAGA. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that's, that's, that's white talk. For Remember when Captain America was in the elevator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and he was with Hydra, <laughs> and he didn't know if they was on him, so he just whispered to him, "Hail Hydra." Yeah. I've been doing that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm be honest with y'all. Like, you know, you be in the elevator with a bunch of white people, yeah. and you don't know, and you be like, milk it. Maga. 
<laughs> what do they do? Let them through. They get warm. Cut the line. Yeah. <laughs> He's one of the good ones, guys. <laughs> this is satire, guys. Now, do I have to say? It don't even matter. They're going to take nah, the cookie let it go. Anyway. Let it go. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Somebody's going to take this clip and put it on Twitter, and it's just going to be me whispering, Mega. <laughs> <laughs> watch, 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 watch. Now I got to answer to Angela Rye for two weeks. Okay. <laughs> okay. With some stupid shit. Okay, let's do one more. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, let's do these last two. These are good. E-Man 96 says, do you think Robert Kennedy has a chance to win the election? Show up, see. You just had him on. Yes. Really? Why? A lot can change. I think he obviously needs to get more popularity. I think if he had his voice, like if his voice didn't have that issue, I think that he'd be like, no bullshit, a legit, he could even be the front runner. I think it's just harder to hear him and listen to him talk. I mean, he even says as much, but like, I think that what he's saying is resonating with a lot of Americans. I, think I he, really do. I think I think he's going to put a lot of cracks in the glass ceiling. I don't think he's going to shatter it. But I will say this. Since 2016, I've been wondering how come a third-party candidate doesn't pick up more steam. I think it's two reasons. Number one, most of them don't have the money to really right. compete with the big boys. Right. Number two... It just ha hasn't been that game-changing candidate. I do feel like it's coming, though, because I feel like pe people want something different so bad. Like, people don't like Trump. They don't like Biden. America isn't beat for the two-party system. Salute to my guy, Tim Ryan. He always talks about the exhausted majority. I personally believe that's most Americans. I think most of us fall in the exhausted majority category. He's gonna We're just tied to all this shit. He's going to serve us, And them. we want something new. I think when the right candidate comes along, running third party, and they actually have some real money, like how a Ross Perot had back in the day, they gonna make it's some noise. It's a problem. It's a they, problem. They gonna make some noise. I, I think America is ripe, ripe for a third no, party candidate. Right. The last two, the last three elections, I, think, I feel like third party candidates right. should have kicked some. But ass. it's it's up for, it's up to us to stop being pussies. And we are pussies. We say some shit. Oh, he ain't got a chance to win, so I'll just vote for the lesser of two evils. Yeah. It's like the only way you're going to have a third party is if you start voting. When I did the 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 talk in Austin, me and Angela Rye would uh, today explain. Mm. Salute to my man Chris Smalls, you know, uh, at Amazon. He brought that point up. And there's a lot of people that feel like that. Like, they're like, yo, we're tired of the two-party system. We want something new. How come we're not giving more third-party candidates? Put your vote where your mouth is. And then. what you said is true, shows people tell it. They tell us only these two can win. So you feel like if you vote for one of these other people, it's a waste. But that's just not how... Put your vote where work. your mouth is. Man, this one young kid came up to me at the Vox Media thing, man. He said something so real. He goes, Charlamagne, he said, yo, what's the point of voting when the, the power of the vote doesn't really go to the people, when all of these politicians are controlled by the lobbyists, when all these politicians are controlled by these corporate lobbyists, he was like, Yo, what's the point of voting when you know they're not going to be answering to us, they're going to be answering to them? And you know what fucked me up about that question? I don't have an answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I don't what, 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 I don't have great an answer question. to you. It's a great fucking question. It's and this guy, question. this kid was like young. He was like 18, 19 years great old. Question. He was young as shit. How would you answer that question, Chris? Because uh, the alternative is worse, and the corruption that he's describing is real, but it's not 100% but pervasive. But you're basically choosing between which corrupted candidate, because they're both corrupted by different lobbyists. So the argument well, that you basically got to choose your lobbyists. Don't even choose a candidate. Damn. Choose the lobbyists damn. that are trying to corrupt the candidate and then go with them damn. because the lobbyists are going to represent your point of view. Oh, that's my time. Okay. Um, all right. What do you think, Chris, to that point? You want yeah, to Yeah, or there should be a candidate who runs on an anti-lobbyist platform. Impossible. So, well. Trump tried to do that in 2016. No. Yeah, he did. He was saying how he was paying for everything with his own money, and I mean, he wasn't in the pockets of these corporations. But his homies are, own the corporations. Right. Yeah. You know, right. so. Trump, in theory, made a lot of sense. In practice, it's a complete different scenario. But... There could be somebody else. 
I got to roll, guys. Who about to own Trump, man? Russia or China? Because somebody's going to pay that bill. Russia. Someone's going to do it. Done. Russia, already you think they're already happy? <laughs> yeah, it already happened. Listen, as always, if you uh, listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast, you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're, you're right, right too. too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.